Jillian, what are some of the structured oral discourse strategies that you use today, and why are they so important to do consistently? Um, throughout the day, I really make sure that I value um, all students being engaged in their learning and their instruction. Um, so I do so by making sure that they um, have opportunities to share out and that it's structured so that they know what to expect and they can all be successful. I tell them right away, I don't ever want to pull a stick without giving you time to think about it and to share with each other. So you'll notice that in the instruction, there's a lot of time for either um, think, pair, share, um, lots and lots of sentence frames. I want to make sure that they have a structure um, so that they can feel comfortable sharing. They always share in their groups or they share with um, a partner before they ever share out in class so that they can practice. Um, and that way when, that when their stick is pulled and they have to share in the whole group, they feel comfortable and they um, can share out. Today we are looking at compound inequalities. So this is 3.6. Make sure that you have the heading. You have your entire heading on the right. Name, algebra one, our period number, and today's date. Then we have our essential question. What is a compound inequality? What are the steps for solving them? Today's goal is I will solve multi-step problems involving linear inequalities in one variable. Solve the inequality. Please repeat with me. X plus 3 is less than or equal to 10. X plus 3 is less than or equal to 10. Let's try it one more time. I need to see full participation. X plus 3 is less than or equal to 10. X plus 3 is less than or equal to 10. Thank you. Take about one minute. Okay, 3, 2, 1, chin it. Thank you. Next one. Throwing in some negatives. Here we go. X minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Tell me. X minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Let's try it one more time. X minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 2. X minus 5 is less than or equal to negative 2. Let's try it one more time. Remember, that's a greater than or equal to. X minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 2. X minus 5 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Thank you. And 20 more seconds to finish it up. So now take that information and use the sentence frame, and then table leaders make sure that each person gets to say it. So I'm going to say the goal, you will say it, and then tell a friend. So I will solve multi step problems involving linear inequalities in one variable. Tell me. I will solve multi step problems involving linear inequalities in one variable. Tell someone at your table. I will solve multi-step problems involving linear inequalities in one variable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Johnny. I will solve multi-step problems invo involving linear inequalities in one variable. Thank you. All right, so math talk. You do not need to write this down, but I want you to think. Use your prior knowledge. What do we already know about the word compound? So I said we're looking at compound inequalities. Think back to language arts. Think back to anything that you've ever seen with the word compound. What is one thing that you know when you hear the word compound? So in your groups, spend about two minutes and be ready to share out using the sentence frame. One thing we know about the word compound is. All right, here we go. Daniela, one thing we know, please use the sentence frame. One thing we know about the word compound is that it's like two words put together, like tricycle or popcorn. Thank you. Jalen. Uh, one thing we know about the word compound is that it's two words put together. 